Finally, finally, we have a Porsche 911 to show you guys. We've had a few of these through our workshop over the last few months, even years, um, and they've all been at various stages of production based on uh, what we were able to complete. And finally, we have one complete to show you. This is a Porsche 911, it's a 964, and this is one of the first to use the new Bolton kit from Zero EV. If you guys haven't seen any of Zero EV's footage, I highly recommend that you check them out. Their Bolton kit is something that we, as uh, one of the few limited uh, companies in the UK, are authorised to supply and fit into customers' Porsche 911s. So I'm really excited to take this for a drive, show you guys what it's really capable of, and show you all the nitty gritty details inside as well. So without further ado, let's check it out. So what are the stats I hear you cry or I hear you comment down below? Or actually, there's no need because I'm about to tell you what those stats are. So I feel like a Porsche 911, a car like this, needs to have a really great conversion. There's no point in electrifying it if it's really not going to do as good as it was designed to do. These vehicles um, were designed to be on the open road, the curves, the shaping, the design of the thing was meant to be a really great vehicle to drive. So I'm really pleased that the kit that Porsche, um, that we were able to fit into the Porsche 911 from Zero EV really packs a punch. So most important is the power. In this vehicle, between the rear wheels, we have a large drive unit from a Tesla, and that is capable of kicking out over 450 brake horsepower. And remember, that's from zero RPM. You have that power straight away. No more gears in this anymore. No no more shifting through the gears. You've got that power straight away. So 450 plus is straight between the rear wheels, straight into those wheels, and you really feel it. It's incredible. On top of that, we also have a high voltage battery pack installed in here. It's a 54 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is capable of doing, on paper, we say 180 miles, but in reality, we can do over 200, depending on your driving style. It also has a crazy sport mode, um, which means that if you just keep that on all the time, your range is gonna be depleted, and you will have a lot more fun. Now the 54 kilowatt hour battery pack is split. Most of it is in the rear with a small amount in the front compartment as well, which still retains some space for your storage. The other great facility about something like a high voltage battery pack of what we've um, put into this vehicle is that it's capable of doing rapid charging. Now rapid charging in electric conversions has been a bit of a white whale for companies like ourselves and many others around the world, but rapid charging is slowly becoming available uh, in easier and easier packages. This utilizes CCS rapid charging, so one of the most common rapid charging ports throughout the UK and throughout the world. This will do 70 kilowatts of rapid charging. That means that you can refill from 0%, not that you'd ever arrive on zero, but from 0% to 80% in just under one hour, which is absolutely perfect. So what's more important than some numbers and some just pieces of information is actually how does it feel. So let's take a look. So the interiors of this Porsche are mostly unchanged. It's what we prefer to do in all of our electric conversions, but it's really great that we've been able to accomplish it in such a nice way in this 964. Inside, most of it is gonna feel very similar. This particular Porsche has got these gorgeous bucket seats here, which really holds you nicely as you're driving. And again, as you're cornering with some of that power from that rear drive unit, it's just mental. So having something that can really hold you is really useful. Steering wheel's the same, most of the switches are the same, most of the pedals are the same. Uh, the main things that have changed in here is, first of all, the gauges. So still your five gauges, but they all do slightly different things. So from left to right, we have 
battery temperature, motor temperature, then we have our battery level or your state of charge on the second gauge. In the center, we've got a kilowatt gauge, almost like your revometer, which is showing how many amps you are kicking out of the battery pack into the drive unit, but also it shows you your regen. So how many amps are then coming back into the battery pack as you're braking or as you're taking your foot off the throttle. There's also a wonderful little display um, on that gauge, which is also showing you things like your estimated range, your kilowatts per mile, all those kind of things, which are really quite fancy. It's also showing you what gear you're in and what mode you're in, whether you're in chill mode or whether you're in sport mode as well. Fourth gauge is your miles per hour gauge, and then fifth gauge has got your car battery, so your 12 volt battery, and then your EV battery, which is up to 400 volt battery voltage on there as well. And those also have integrated LEDs. They have LEDs built into them for the usual things like your indicators and your beams. And those are all, they're beautiful. They sit in the original holders. They're really, really swish uh, gauges that really help to know kind of what's going on with things in there. The other thing that we include in our Porsche 911 conversions, along with some of our other conversions as well, is a full high voltage heating and air conditioning system. So the gauges here control all of that. We have um, all of the technology is underneath the kind of dash area space where the normal heater tubes um, all live. And that's, as I said, doing high voltage heating, which is instant. You're not waiting for an engine to warm up before you can get warm. The high voltage heating is instant and you've got air conditioning built into there as well. It's really flush using the existing channels. So everything else is really nicely controlled. Pedals, you've now got two. No need for a clutch, no need for a gear stick. There is no gear box, you're just single speed. So straight from go, straight from zero RPM, just straight down on the throttle and away you go. Uh, your brake is now servo assisted with an electric servo rather than the engine powered servo originally. So occasionally it's the loudest thing in the vehicle actually, is as you press the brake, you'll hear the servo repressurize with a little kind of buzz noise and that's it. Instead of a gear stick, you've now got a gear selector simply pushing forwards for forwards and backwards for reverse, just telling the drive unit which way it needs to spin. So a lot of you viewing might think that working in an electric conversion company like Edub Services is all, you know, happy all day long. It's always, you know, doing things and having a great time and, you know, spending hours on something for it to be really appreciated by everybody who can see it, which is not the case when it comes to battery boxes. It's one of the most frustrating things in this industry, in my opinion, is you can spend days, if not weeks, building a battery box. The internals of it all, making sure everything fits nicely, making sure nothing catches on each other, making sure it's safe, making sure the battery management system can see all the right batteries, can see all the voltages, all the temperature sensors work. You spend days, weeks making it look beautiful and then you cover it up with a big black box. It's so frustrating. But lo and behold, inside this box, the vehicle would not work unless we had it inside this box. So as I mentioned before, this is a part of our 54 kilowatt hour battery pack. There's a number of modules inside that box. And we've also been mated with our 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger there on the side. That's for your home charging, of which the charge port is in the original petrol flap for convenience. We've also got our DC-DC converter on there, the equivalent to your engine's alternator. And all of the HVAC system is behind that just underneath the dashboard there. Everything else is our standard original 12 volt battery to start and unlike some conversions still some decent storage space. So in all of our electric conversions the most obvious place to put most of the conversion equipment is going to be where the engine used to be. The Porsche 911 is a brilliant example of this because a 911 engine is actually pretty huge. It was capable of giving out uh, a ton of horsepower and so it needed to be quite a large engine for the generation it was made for. But that means that for us, when we come to the vehicle, we've got a nice big space. The downside is the lovely curves of the Porsche mean that it's a little bit difficult to put in some nice rectangular batteries into those curved spaces. So we have the custom kit in the back here. As we said before, the drive unit sits right down between the rear wheels and this battery pack fills in, as you can see, snugly the space in the rear. We also have in the rear the CCS2 rapid charging pack here too. Uh, that's much more accessible in the back here. It wouldn't actually fit in the petrol tank flap. Uh, means that when you're stopping off for, for short spates of time, this is the best way to be charging it. We also have here next to the CCS2 rapid charging socket, a little light that'll actually tell you how charged the battery pack is depending on what color that light is, which is really great if you need to check really quickly. All of the intelligent stuff inside the battery pack is mostly in this rear box. The front box is mainly just modules, but in the back, you've got your main battery management system. You've also got all of the contacts and the pre-charged circuitry to keep the entire vehicle safe. If anything was to go wrong with the system, anything was to become compromised, then that will stop anything from going really badly wrong. 
So our Porsche 911 964 kits come with two driving modes. You've got a kind of regular driving mode, uh, which is known as chill, that's what it says on the dash. Um, and to be honest, that's more than powerful enough for most of what you need to do. But all you need to do is press the little button down here, and now I'm in sport mode. And what that does is it increases the current limit so I can really floor it. It also decreases your regen, which means I've got a lot more control over the actual power that I'm using in every direction. So the drive unit is programmed to have a set level of um, regenerative braking built into the vehicle, which means that there's two levels to this. So the first level is when you take your foot off the throttle pedal, it's what's called neutral braking. And it means that that's what just kicks in when you're just cruising effectively. And in the chill mode that I'm driving in now, that regen mode is actually quite severe. I use this, probably shouldn't use the word severe because it sounds negative. I personally love it. I really love the way that you can pretty much drive one pedal. You only really need the brake when you're coming to an absolute standstill. So the gauges are really great um, on this. They're very clear. They're exactly where you expect them to be. Everything is really understandable. Um, and it's really great to have some of the key features like your battery state of charge, um, but also the really fun features like um, the kilowatts, you know, the, the power that's coming out of the drive unit. Um, it's just really fun to be able to see. And as you're kind of flooring it, when you probably should be watching the road, it's quite nice to be thinking, oh, I managed to get to that level. It's really quite fun. We're here on the perfect test roads around North Yorkshire near Edub HQ. Um, just amazing long winding country roads, perfect for practicing flooring it as we go down the straight sections, but also for kind of seeing how it handles around those tight twists and turns, uh, hugging the corners, it's really lovely. It's such a beautiful car to drive. Um, I mentioned before about the seats, they really hold you nice and tight. So as you're taking some of those corners with probably a little bit more speed than you should, it doesn't feel like you're out of control at all. And the car really feels like that as well. Um, you've got big, fat, sticky tires on this car as well. So we've tried to give it a bit of a tire spin, just can't do it. Um, it's just so in control. And because you've got all that power within the drive unit supplied by Zero EV, uh, and the software that's on there is fine tuned to give you a really great driving experience. So of course in an electric conversion there are no gears, we've got no gear stick, no clutch, um, and what's really great about that when you're driving a vehicle as capable and as powerful as this is it means all I really need to focus on is the road ahead. I don't have to think about you know where I'm shifting to and what I'm doing with my feet. I'm simply pushing a bit further with my right foot to go a bit faster or off to slow myself down. And what's really lovely as well is that in a location like this in North Yorkshire we're able to just cruise and enjoy the countryside and you know for a fact that you're not adding to any of the pollution either you're not churning out fumes behind you or having people kind of you know in their lovely country houses scowling as you as you drive by with such an ear splitting roar you can give that same power and that same performance that same fun but with no emissions absolutely clean It has been an absolute privilege to have been selected as one of Zero EV's companies to be able to install these uh, conversion kits into the 911 964s. It's been an absolute blast putting this video together for you guys today. If you have a 911 964 that needs electrifying, then I assure you we're your guys. Get in touch uh, via our website, edubconversions.co.uk. Drop us an email on there and someone will be right back to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Put any comments, any thoughts down below, or why not tell your friends about it as well? We love making these videos for you guys, and it's been really exciting uh, to be able to share them with you. So for now, I'm just gonna keep driving this around because I assure you, it is really good fun.